Hello, I'm Zachary Freeman with Relative Relevant News. News that's relevant. Maybe. Possibly. Anyways, our top story tonight is on ocean acidification, its effects, and how we can help. Due to budget cuts, the entire group's fired, leaving only anchor Zach Freeman to the news. The camera guy, the audio guy, everyone, they're gone, disappeared. Oh, but we found this guy to be the camera guy. His name's Dan. Dan is unpaid. That is so unfortunate. Anyways, we will probably be taken off the air tonight. Help us, please, seriously. Thank you, Fast Talking Voice. Now, on to the field. Thank you, Zachary. Now, I'm out on the field to get a personal perspective on this issue. Excuse me, sir, what is your perspective on ocean acidification and its effects? What did you just say? Uh, uh, ocean instead of... Oceans? Ocean acidification? Are you kidding me? The oceans are scary enough, but now there's acid in the water? When is this gonna stop? Now, now hold on. More acidic doesn't mean there's more acid in the water. An average pH value of 8.2 seawater is slightly alkaline. This figure has dropped to 8.1 over the past 200 years. This corresponds to a decline of 30%. By 2100, the pH value of these oceans will presumably drop to another 0.4 units, and seawater will thus become 100 to 150 percent more acidic. So, what are what are the effects of ocean acidification? Because if it is growing in acidification, that has to mean something. That means that there's food web interruption, tainted fish and sea life that are unable to be consumed by other animals in the sea or to be consumed by humans. What are the actual causes of ocean acidification? There are a few causes of ocean acidification. The Industrial Revolution, for one. High concentration of carbon dioxide. Burning of fossil fuels, cement manufacturing, changing of land use, raising of carbon dioxide levels in the ocean. Okay, 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 okay! I get it. But what are the solutions? Some of the solutions are local, state, and federal regulations. Education of ocean acidification to the people. Regulation on factories and those who produce fossil fuels. Reducing energy use, reducing electric usage, supporting environmentally friendly initiatives. These are the things that can truly affect ocean acidification and change it. So the ocean is still scary, but ocean acidification isn't that scary. I suppose not. All right. Feel better now? A little bit.